Hello, I'm Kweku, I'm a pharmacist, and today we are diving into a topic that's both delicious and a bit deceiving, your breakfast. We often hear that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but are we really starting our mornings right? Today, I want to uncover the truth about six popular breakfast foods that might be doing more harm than good, especially if you're managing diabetes, heart disease, or if you have weight loss goals. We're going to start off with arguably the most popular one, which is breakfast cereals. Now, granted, breakfast cereals are quick, they are easy, and they are often marketed as healthy. But here's the twist. Many of these cereals are secretly sugar bombs. For example, did you know that Kellogg's, a giant in the cereal world, settled a whopping $31 million lawsuit for misleading health claims? Their raisin brand, which they called Heart Healthy, packs 18 grams of added sugar per serving. Now that's like swallowing over four teaspoonfuls of sugar with every serving. And it's not just Kellogg. A study by the Environmental Working Group revealed that some cereals have more sugar in a cup than three chocolate chip cookies. Yes, you heard me right. Three chocolate chip cookies. Plus, many are also full of artificial colors and flavors. Sure, they might taste great, but they don't add any real nutritional value. In some cases, there are even health concerns about setting artificial additives that are added. Now, although evidence is not conclusive, some people have reported allergic reactions and sensitive children may experience hyperactivity when they consume some of these additives. Now, remember that with cereals, moderation is key. And if you're going to go for cereals, opt for whole grain and the low sugar varieties. Second on my list, pancakes and waffles. Now, who doesn't love pancakes and waffles for breakfast? They are like some comfort food, you know, in the morning you have some pancakes. It's, it tastes good, I'm not going to lie. But unfortunately, there's a catch. The main ingredient in both pancakes and waffles is refined flour. Now, unlike whole grains, refined flour is stripped of the nutrients and fiber. So what does this mean for you? Well, it's digested quickly, turning into sugar and causing the blood sugar levels to spike rapidly. Now, that's not the best news, especially if you're diabetic or if you're watching your health. Over time, frequent consumption of foods high in refined flour can contribute to insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance is a condition where the body cells become less responsive to insulin. Insulin resistance obviously is a risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes and can also contribute to weight gain and obesity. Now, to make it even worse, we often top our pancakes and waffles with sugary syrups, adding even more empty calories. One tablespoonful of maple syrup, that's about 12 grams of sugar. Now, you don't have to make a public confession, but do you really use only one tablespoon of syrup when you eat your pancakes? I'm betting it's more, but like I said, no public confessions. Now, don't get too down. You can still enjoy these breakfast favorites. Now, instead, try using whole grain flour like oat or whole wheat and add some fiber-rich ingredients like flaxseed or wheat bran. This way you get a healthier, relatively blood sugar friendly version of your beloved breakfast treat. Next up, let's talk about bagels. Now bagels are a go-to breakfast for many, but there's something you should know. A standard bagel has the carb content of about four slices of bread. Now that's a lot, especially if you're keeping an eye on your blood sugar levels. This is primarily because most bagels are made from refined wheat flour. The refining process strips away fiber and essential nutrients, leading to a product that can rapidly elevate blood sugar levels. Now, most times it's not just the bagel itself that's a guilty culprit, it's also what we put on it. Some of these toppings add extra calories without much nutritional value. But not to worry, you don't have to give up bagels entirely. Here's a tip. Choose whole grain bagels. They have more fiber and nutrients and top them with something protein rich like eggs or nut butter. This way you can enjoy a more balanced, health friendly breakfast. Next on the list, fruit juice. Yes, fruit juice. Now, fruit juice is often seen as a healthy choice, right? But here's something that might surprise you. Despite being packed with vitamins, fruit juice lacks the fiber found in whole fruits. Now, why does this matter? Well, fiber is key to controlling blood sugar spikes, and without it, juice can rapidly increase your blood sugar levels. A study by Harvard School of Public Health found a startling link. Drinking one or 
more servings of fruit juice daily can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by a whopping 21%. Now this is because of the high fructose content which without fiber leads to quick blood sugar rises. So what's the healthier choice? Well, stick to whole fruits. I mean, they give you the fiber, they give you the nutrients along with natural sugars. If you love your juice so much, just remember that moderation is key. And if in so, just opt for the ones with no added sugars and maybe enjoy them with a meal to balance out the impact. Now let's talk about yogurt. Yes, yogurt can be a great nutritional choice, offering benefits like protein, calcium, and probiotics. However, not all yogurts are as healthy as they seem, especially the flavored ones. Many of these are loaded with added sugars, artificial sweetness, and preservatives. A consumer report study showed that some flavored yogurts have over 20 grams of sugar per serving. Now that's more than half of the daily sugar limit recommended for women. So what should you do? Well, the answer is simpler than you might think. Just go for plain yogurt. It's usually lower in sugar and retains more of the natural nutrients. For added flavor, I mean, consider adding some fresh fruits, some nuts, or even maybe a drizzle of honey. These natural sweetness give you the flavor without dumping in a ton of sugar. At least this way you get to enjoy yogurt's benefits without the unwanted sugar crash that comes along with some of the flavored ones. Now let's move on to the breakfast favorite for those on the go, the busy guys who are always on the move, breakfast bars. They are convenient, sure, but are they really as healthy as they claim? Unfortunately, many breakfast bars are just glorified candy bars in disguise. They are often packed with sugar, refined grains, oils, artificial additives, but are also low in the good stuff. That is the fiber, the protein, and the essential nutrients. Don't be deceived by the packaging and advertising. Now, I'm not saying that all breakfast bars are bad. The trick is to be label savvy. Look for bars high in fiber and protein, but low in sugar and artificial stuff. The best ones often, but not always, often, but not always, include whole grains, nuts, seeds, and minimally added sugars. So next time you're grabbing a breakfast bar or any breakfast item for that matter, take a moment to check the label. A smart choice can make the difference between a sugar crash and a nutritious way to start your day. I truly hope you found some value in this video. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.